On this day, the first Friday in March, we would normally have a service of World Day of Prayer. It's a woman-led, global, ecumenical movement. The service rotates annually in all our churches in Disley and includes our Quaker friends. So today, although we shall not have a service in our parish, there will be services worldwide, where they're able to meet, of course. And this year, the service has been prepared by the women of Vanuatu, and their theme is Build on a Firm Foundation. Vanuatu is a nation of islands in the region of Melanesia in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. It's close to the Solomon Islands, to which the Chester Diocese has had a link for many, many years. Vanuatu, although not as poor as the Solomon Islands, is a poor country and can be compared to poor nations of Africa, say. This year, the women of Vanuatu have been given the opportunity to prepare the service and tell us about their country and how their faith helps them in their work and family life. Their service will include personal introductions, Bible readings, prayers and hymns for us all to participate and be blessed in our universal love of our Lord and Saviour, which brings us ever close to them, all those miles away. The service will be read in some 170 countries and will start in Samoa, travelling the world in native languages and finishing in an American Samoa some 39 hours later. I'm going to read you some words now of a hymn that's been composed by uh, the World Day of Prayer Preparatory Workshop and by the actual members of the National Vanuatu Committee. It's called We Are Ni Vanuatu, which means we are of Vanuatu. It's time to get together as a nation and family. Let's forget our differences and work in unity. Let's build up Vanuatu with love and unity. We are a family. We are one. We are Ni Vanuatu. From the north down to the south, all the islands, we are one. In God we stand, brothers and sisters, we are strong. Let us build up Vanuatu with love and unity. We are family. We are one. We are Ni Vanuatu. And I close with some words from another hymn they've chosen. It's Estelle White's hymn, Yahweh, you are my strength and salvation. And it closes with these words. I raise my voice and sing his glory with all my heart. I praise the God of my joy. Amen. <laughs>